and a celebration of another kind in the Washington area today. If you haven't already heard, the Redskins have claimed the NFC East title and they are headed to the playoffs. And as Jumi Obanji reports, the race is on for fans to get decked out in the burgundy and gold. Just as soon as the game clock ran out at FedEx Field, people across the D.C. area began celebrating the Redskins' big win. Early this morning, area sports stores began unpacking their shipments of brand new NFC East champion merchandise. The Models in Bethesda has t-shirts, hats, and even pennants. Before the store opened this morning, store managers tell us they had several calls from eager Redskins fans who wanted to get their hands on one of these items. Since the team has been on its seven-game winning streak, burgundy and gold apparel has been flying off store shelves. Fans in and around the Washington area have had no problem showing their pride and shelling out money to do so. At this t-shirt printing company in Atlanta, Maryland, t-shirts are coming right off the presses, literally. These new Beasts of the East shirts went into printing early this morning. The artwork was finished on Saturday night before the game was even over, but after last night's sweet victory, employees quickly went to work to get these shirts printed and shipped. This t-shirt is licensed by the NFL Players Association. It features rookie quarterback sensation Robert Griffin III, but also highlights several other players, including veterans London Fletcher and Santana Moss and rookie standout Alfred Morris. We have done some RG3 stuff, but I think if RG3 were to be interviewed, he would say it's about the team. I mean, he's big on that, and he'd probably like this shirt. The T-shirts you see being printed here will be available at stores like the Sports Zone and giant grocery stores across D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. The folks who are printing these shirts say if you want one, you better get one soon because they are expecting to sell out. In Atlanta, Maryland, Jumia Lamanji, ABC 7 News.